Hey guys, it's Donald, the Solo RPG Guy here. I'm going to do something on my channel I've never done before. Unboxing video for Legends Untold. I got both the uh, Weeping Caves novice set and the Great Sewers novice set, as well as the expansions for the Alchemist, the Druid, and Treasure. And although I didn't order it, they threw in these handy dandy D6s. If you're a gamer, you never can have enough D6s. Alright, I've already taken it out of the box from USPS and I've, you know, ripped the cellophane off, but that's all I've done so far. One thing about unboxing videos that I don't like when I see on YouTube is I don't really need to see you take it out of the UPS box. Alright, let's take a look and see what we got inside here. The Weeping Caves book. I believe this is the book that talks how to go through the campaign series. If you have opened Legends Untold for the first time, begin here. Oh, okay, I guess I'm starting in the right place. Oh, looks like it's the rules. Yep, it, okay, this is the rules. I've seen a couple of playthroughs already online, so I have a general idea how it's played. And I'm going to go through these rules just to make sure I know what I'm doing and see if um, there's any, you know, mistypes or misprints or things that are a little fuzzy. Because that was one of the problems that was on the prototypes that came out in the beginning. But, okay, we got that. No, oh, here's the actual rule book. All right. Suggested hero builds. Alright, let's see what else we got. All the punch outs. It's pretty pretty thick cardboard there. These look like the character cards. Let's see here. Let me, uh, if you are old school and you are military, you know what that is. In this case, it's my cellophane ripper. And now you see why I don't do unboxing videos. I'd rather this already be out. Alright, we got our evicted noble, our farm hand, our forge hand, and our student. And there's apparently male and female on both sides. You just flip sides over. The stats are the same. One of the reasons why I like this game, I haven't even played it yet, but from what I saw... This also kind of reminds me of um, the Forbidden Lands. Because in this game, you're just regular people. You're farmhand, forgehand, students, noble, evicted nobles. Off to save whatever the campaign is in the world. I haven't read a whole lot of the campaign, but these cards here are the scenario cards and the campaign cards. Reunite the Mother, The Great Diversion, Respite, a Temporary Home, Obtain Supplies, Breach the Warden, Report Back, and Find Shelter. Now, not only did I get this game to play the game itself, but, you know, if I wanted to play a game of Forbidden Lands, or The Fantasy Trip, or uh, Shadow of the Demon Lord, or D&D, &D, or anything like that, I can glance over this. And there's my story. And here's the dungeon cards. Or in this case, location cards for the game. Sky Bridge, Barracks, Crystal Cavern, Spinner Lair, Warren Home, Grotto. You get a um, handy dandy combat summary sheet. Turn sequence summary. Your readiness chart, 
rules on how to take tests. Apparently there's like four or five different types of tests you can take in this game. This game is uh, very icon heavy. So you got a little cheat sheet here for the icons and a condition summary on the back. All right, so let's move all this over to the side. Like I said, guys, impromptu unboxing video. It's also my first, so don't expect it to be the greatest. I just wanted to show off this game. It looks like you get some dice. Like I said, you never can run out of dice. Let's move those out of the way. Time to pull out that handy dandy GI tool. Keep it on my key ring, so I never I'm never without a little knife. These are, that's another scenario card. And more location cards. All right, cool. I believe when I got this, I actually purchased the uh, Kickstarter edition. I didn't get it off of Kickstarter. Um, the Kickstarter's already come and gone. When I got the Kickstarter edition from the retailer. Um, they might have a few copies left. You can check out The Game Steward. G-A-M-E-S-T-E-W-A-R-T. So, it looks like some bonus loot cards. Alright, let's pull this open. Let's see what we got. My GI tool at. If you're looking for a spectacular video, an unboxing, you can use my video as a how not to do an unboxing video. But now you're just sitting there staring at an empty box waiting for me. There we go. These are our skill cards, I believe, or talent cards, arcane theory, helping hands. Privileged, Nobility, Travel, Born Leader, Caving, Born Beneath, Smithing, Forge Born, Dependable, Herdsman, Fey Inheritance, Builder, Botanist, Tenacious. And these are combat-like skills, Openers, Power Strike, Speed Strike, Accurate, Quick Draw, Rapid Shot, Flexible, Aggressive, Guard, Hurl, Driving, Momentum, Winding, Neutralizing, Posturing, Striking. The uh, weapon cards, you just flip them over to go from what you start off with, like in this case a worn axe, and then there's the stats for the axe. And then when you upgrade, all you got to do is flip the card over. I haven't seen it yet online or read it, but apparently there's a broken trait you can break your weapon. So it looks to be like six weapons you got there. And then same thing with the clothes, the outfits, apparently those upgrade. Kits, rope kit, manual kit, Maddock, Lucky Charm, Hammer. These look like, these are time cards. Apparently after so much time has gone by, you're going to have to deal with one of these type of events. For you guys that are in solo role playing, look at that list right there. There's you a list of events. You can add your own charts right there. Just take what it says and convert it to whatever game system you're playing. That's another reason why, like I said, I got this game. I can actually make a dungeon and run it as a RPG with Forbidden Lands or D and D or whatever. If you ever stuck uh, DMing for somebody. Just remember one of your games, and uh, you will look like you did an awesome job preparing for your game, when in actuality, all you did was steal from another game. That's the number one secret of being a good GM. You don't have to make your own stuff up. Steal it from everybody else. There's enough, if you go online to some of the D&D uh, &D players and their DM guides, and I mean, when I say DM guides, I don't mean the book, I mean... Um, 
people who do YouTube videos, they will tell you, steal from everybody. That's what all the great DMs do. People think I was a great DM, and all I did at one time was I took three different modules that had nothing to do with each other, and I combined them all into one big story. And people thought that was like the best game uh, dungeon ever. And all I do is just take three different modules and throw them together. Here's you some barriers, trail, uh, trials, gas pit, gas vent, island hop, narrow descent, bat calling, bat feeding pit. There Here's you some ideas right now to add to your next game. I right, got one more stack to go through. Looks like the box itself has a little handy dandy storage insert. GI tool up. Um, if you actually want to see some playthroughs, uh, Rick, Ricky Royal, uh, his YouTube page, he's got a uh, couple of playthroughs, one from the original prototype and one with uh, the new stuff here, the updated stuff. So here we got uh, more cards for the dungeon, the barriers, trials, a curiosity, encounters. More barriers. Let me just flip through these real quick. And you get quite a you get quite a bunch. Monsters. Let's see what's the monsters you'll be fighting here. Giant spiders, goblins, goblin queen, goblin shaman, goblin youth, spore, terramite, whistling brownies. And then more loot. All right. See, all the other playthroughs, they always showed the uh, goblins. I never know there was the spiders and the whistling brownies. And then these are elder cards, which apparently have something to do with the actual campaign. And I have no clue what these three cards are. I haven't seen those. But uh, there you go. That's the op boxing of the Weeping Caves novice set. I'm going to now move all this over to the side. And I don't think I've seen any videos yet on what's inside the Great Sewers Novice Set. So hopefully my video will be the first video to show its contents. The Great Sewers book. And that's the campaign guide. So they got a way for you to uh, record keep your cinematic campaign. And then, of course, you got a copy of the rule book. And looks like we got more tokens, so I got double up on the tokens now. Looks like I got a special card here. Like I said, I got the Kickstarter edition, so I don't know what, what was successful in the Kickstarter or not. So I don't know what upgrades or whatnot they got. But okay, another location card. The outlet corridors. And then the old trident for loot. Now let's see. My biggest question is they said that you could take your heroes from one set and play them in the other. And I have yet to see what the heroes are in this particular set. And I don't think anyone online has shown what's inside the sewer set. So this will be, hopefully, something new. I might have actually been the first to actually put this up there. <laughs> All right, looks like you got a performer. <clears throat> Sound like a bard in the making. A follower. A laborer. And a gutter snipe. Oh, for those of you who play Magic, The Gathering, just picture a little goblin face up there. Take the extra damage every time I cast a spell. Boom! Alright, we got Driftwood Trap, Control Room, Feed Room, Drain Room. This is a bunch of uh, underground sewers. You might want to, Like I said, you might want to get this for your role-playing games, because you can make, you know, 
Here's you some ideas, some dungeons already pre-made. Done for you. Boom. Uh, more scenario cards. Another turn sequence. All of the uh, reference cards that come with it. Cool. More dice. Oh, sorry. Oop. Knocked you over there. Let's get this. Oh, need my GI tool. This one's to be a pain. Definitely is a pain. So, guys, don't do this on your unboxing videos. No one wants to hear plastic rattling. Water pit, wooden door, ancient skeleton. Okay, well. Bloated corpse, carnivorous shroom, corroded weapon, glyphed door, hidden cache, hidden hole. All kinds of good stuff. You know, you probably could... Although it probably would, you, know, you probably have to go through the cards first, but you can probably take some of these cards and mix them with the other cards and run it that way. Goblin Hermit, Hidden Thief, Newcomer Scout, more traps and whatever. Man traps, boom. Tripwire, oh, Bile Beast, Dripping Grim. Glint tail, lizardkin, lizardkin, lizards. Looks like you'll be fighting a bunch of lizards. Newcomer knight. Oh, he looks uh, happy to see you. Pops room. I mean, you can use this game, like I said, for your solo RPG. Just, you know, you need a random monster. Draw one from your, your hard deck here and boom, convert the stats over. All right. Pull out the tool again. That's, da, 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 da. I know this is real exciting, guys. While you're doing it on YouTube, just hit that little fast forward button until you see the cards pop up, I guess. Which is now. Oh, crap. Knocked you all over the place. Sorry, we got a head spin now. Orator, Believer, Lightfoot, Silver Tongue, Rough Upbringing, Handyman, Fungi Expert, Educated, Animal Catcher, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, looks like more stances. And it looks like the same set of weapons. So you could possibly take these cards from this set and combine them with your worn axe, your rough bow, your rough spear. Your rough staff and your crude pole arm and your hunting javelin from the other game. As well as all the outfits. You can mix and match this game, both games together. More events, major floods, smokes, warming rats, sewer hatch, rust of water, gas, collapse, barrel blockade, cave-in, collapsing tunnel, icy blackness, major sluice, major sluice, one-way door, portacollas, sewer blockage, and solid wooden door. And then, of course, your handy-dandy storage. Now, one thing I know I have not seen clearly anywhere online yet is the Alchemist Pack, the Druid Pack, hopefully we flip that over, the Druid Pack, and the Treasure Pack. So let's see what's inside here. First, we'll open up the Treasure Pack. And see what's in the treasure pack. Looks like treasure pack contains another scenario. Actually, two scenarios. Ultra deep clearance and deep clearance. And then a room card, location card, the great diversion. And then also, it contains... Cards like the Wishing Well, Egyptio Slavers, Calming Og, Mortlick, Rockide, 
Shiver's Shade, Baby War Ranger, Dice of Wren, Florian's Conch, Looted Treasure Chest, and Ryan's Book of Guesses. All right. Put that off to the side. Let's see what's inside the Alchemist. Oh, we get a um, another character, the gardener. Remind me of that scene in Lord of the Rings. Who are you, his bodyguard? No, I'm his gardener. Hunt for herbs. <coughs> Time for a brew or two. Interesting. And let's see, what are the cards that come in with the alchemist? Tincture, tinkerer. Pocketed Smock, uh, Alchemist Set, Burst of Force, stuff, all the good stuff's on the other side. Healing, Tonic, Bog Moss, Birch Bullet, Clover, well those are your herbs right there. Green Lichen, Horn Root, root and lavender. All right, and then last but not least, the druid. Of course, you know when you think going into the caves or going into the sewers, you don't think about bringing a druid in most cases. Yeah, I know. There's a new in one of the books. Oh, whoa. I better look. I gotta look carefully. All right, the staples or glued. I mean, on the back of. The Druid is another card. It's like an... Oh, it's got a new weapon. The Shillelagh. Oh, it's wrapped in plastic real good. Alright, time to pull out the handy-dandy GI tool. All right, this is what was stuck on the back. Shillelagh, which is the upgraded version of a club. And aggressive, powerful, and sly are your weapon stances with it. You also get uh, your druid, which is the neophyte. The druid path and search for companion scenario and then your skills insect path celtic teaching reptiles form animals blessing aggressive powerful slide so i got two copies of that all right young cat companion and a raven companion all right that was a quick impromptu how not to do an unboxing video um, if you're interested in checking out how the game is played, uh, do a search for Ready Steady Play. They do an in-depth playthrough, as well as Ricky Royal. Um, both of those channels I watch, and that's where I get some of my information on and what you know what other games are coming out. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, happy gaming.